Oh, I filled the card up. One thing about this thing, it takes up a lot of space on the card. I guess I could change the setting a little bit, but I don't plan on using this one forever. I think I'm gonna order another one soon. I forgot the drill. Smart.
And right now when I first get started doing this, I don't mind if I forget something because that means I gotta walk back and forth to get it. You know, which is 75 to 100 feet every time I turn around. So I just did three, 400 feet. Uh, but as the day goes on and I get tired, those three or 400 feet get tough. All right, what that is, is so that you'll know what I did here, because I do have a light over there, but that light over there comes on and off with motion. This light is an emergency light. That wire has power on it. Yeah, I was working on the live wire, um, but when now when the power goes off, the light comes on. So if we lose power, the light will come on out here, and it's good for up to 90 minutes. Now the one inside the house is similar to that, and I have one centrally located in the house that you really don't even notice it, but it lights up kind of the whole place where you can walk around without tripping on things. Uh, and it lasts almost 90 minutes, so, you know, all it's got to do is last long enough to, and it's charging up now, last long enough so that I can get out here and fill the generator, start the generator, or things like that. So, uh, you know, or if we're not home and it's nighttime, power goes out, the light will come on as a little security feature. So, so for those reasons, uh, I wanted to have it there. Now, if it works the way I'm thinking and it holds up, uh, probably gonna get another one uh, for the backyard put it on the back of the shop here and possibly another one for the front of the shop so this here way like I say if we lose power you know and if we're near the yard we're not going to trip or fall and if we're in the driveway we're not going to trip or fall because unless it's a good bright night it's really dark around here um, so but there's no street light the closest street lights about 100 feet that way and there's all kinds of trees blocking it, so 
maybe a little bit more than that, about 150 feet. It's two and a half houses down. So, all right, let me shut this off. I'll be back. Okay, now that light right there, um, I think I'm gonna have to change it out. There's two of them. This one and the one on this, what we call the Sturbridge house, which is the woodshed, because uh, they come on for no reason. Yeah, uh, during the day you can walk by it and it comes on, so this is not good. And I don't have it set for that, so I'm going to check the settings one more time. And at that point I will um, change it out if I have to. Luckily I have, uh, see it just came on for no reason. So... Uh, which is okay, I guess, but we really don't need it on during the day, burning up 300 watts. So, I mean, talking 300 watts, six, seven, eight hours out of a day, you know, that's a lot. All right, I'm gonna get the 3D camera because I gotta do something. All right, what I'm gonna do is I got the 3D cam, and I also have the body cam on because I'm gonna go do something out there that. I really didn't plan on doing. However, uh, Calvin did a video the other day, Calvin in the corner, Calvin72, about chestnuts. And we had a monster chestnut tree back there. And the wife said she doesn't want it there because the chestnuts hit the ground and she's worried about the, the, the boys stepping on them because they are sharp. And, uh, so about four years, five years ago, I decided, all right, let me just cut it down. So I didn't cut it down per se. I went up on a ladder about 10, maybe 12 feet, and I cut it off, pulled it over, and then I was gonna drop the lower half. But time went on and I got tired and I didn't do it. Well, guess what? It started growing so I'll show it to you in a minute so now after the wife because I told Calvin the wife about Calvin's corner and the chestnuts because she goes out there and picks them up and she gives them to a friend of hers that likes them apparently and uh, I said well, gee the other day Calvin did a video on it and he was saying how uh, he likes them you know they're I guess they're good to eat or whatever the case may be and I sent her a copy of the video or the link and uh, next thing you know she comes out here and she says I feel bad about taking that tree down all right we got to go back there and save it well what I had done this past summer is I surrounded the trunk with about two and a half to three feet of dirt because if I ruin the bark the tree will die well now she decided she doesn't want to kill the tree because they're rare well, okay, she didn't take that from me. She took it from Calvin, apparently. So now, because of you, Calvin, I gotta go out there and clear all that dirt away. So, I'm bringing you guys with me. <laughs> 